Escaping Denver, Batch 2, Episode 12, The Pit. I figured it out. At least, I think I have. Keep in mind, these voice messages don't arrive in a neat bundle. They arrive as two separate, I don't know, jumbles of clips, one from each of their phones, not in any sort of order, and in this case, not even complete messages. I have a few partially downloaded messages, so now now I need to go back and figure out where they fit into the fully downloaded ones, you know, so I don't double up on any messages. So, keeping that in mind, I have to admit I made a mistake. I mixed up the timelines. I should have put episode 211 before 210, as it seems this mystery woman met Sarah before she saved Noah. Because it is the same woman. The person who saved Noah in 210 is the same person who just interrupted Sarah in the archives, where she was finishing listening to Camilla's tapes. And, can I say how refreshing it is to finally have a name for the ally? Camilla. I can't help but think about something Camilla said. She said something along the lines that, She doesn't work alone, but in this whole saving Noah thing, she went solo. So do Camilla's associates like that she went rogue, potentially exposing them? I wouldn't think so. What if this is all just another trap? Who the hell are you? Someone you need to trust right now. And why is that? Because we're running out of time to save Noah. And we need your help. I don't buy it. Show me your hands. Turn around slowly. If I wanted you dead, I had plenty of time to do it while you listened to those tapes. So you what? Watched me? I was curious what the tapes had to say. I knew Camilla. Mm -hmm. Satisfied with what you heard? Satisfied that she didn't share anything we didn't want out there. We? How many more of there are you? In here? Just me. You know what I meant. How many of you are there? Enough. So why now? You want the tapes? Take them. Leave me out of it. I would never take anything from the archivist. He let you in here. And also you. The archivist doesn't pick sides. He did when he gave up where I was. He told me where you were because he knows what I know. Which is? that we're running out of time to save Noah and we need your help. You just said you needed to start to trust. Start now. What kind of trouble is he in? He thinks he's on the run with another escapee, but he's dangerous and he's using Noah as bait. Bait for what? You. Well, fuck. Exactly. We need to get Noah away from him. I mean, what do you need me to do? Well, we need to come up with a plan. You don't have a plan? How do you not have a plan? When I heard who Noah was with, I knew I had to come find you. What good am I, though? I'm barely escaping as it is. You're the gorilla cult in this place. Don't you have a little army you can call upon? We're assembling arms in secret, but it takes time, and time is something that we don't have. So what do we have to work with? Whatever we're carrying. You don't have anything! That's not true. I have this flashlight. You sure this will work? If anyone's gonna know Morse code, it'll be Noah. You know it. Yeah, I spent the summer in Chandler at the Rail Museum. I remember how to do numbers and even what a handful of them mean. 73, best regards, 88, love and kisses, and 55, important. Oh, good. Options. There. I see them. You sure that's them? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, Noah. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. He's looking. He's looking. Good, Noah. One, two, three. Can I, can I just call out to him? He'd never be able to hear you through that door. Oh, but he's leaving. 
Oh, we have to do something. And we will. Follow me. <sighs> this stinks. I shouldn't be locked away. The moment my flashlight trick didn't work the second time, they whisked me away to this boiler room and locked me in. Yeah, they said it was not only for my safety, but that of humanity. And I thought doctors had a god complex. I swear I heard gunfire after they locked me in here. If this was all another trap just to get me... And if this is some sort of trap, I'm going to... Noah! Sarah! <laughs> You're alive. Thanks to you. I didn't do anything. They locked me down here and all the... You brought an army to save me. I think he did plenty. I saw you with Andre. Yeah. Was it him? Yeah. But maybe not. He didn't have the scars that... The Sanhu will address us momentarily. Who are all these people? They came in with you. I don't think I recognize anyone. Wait. Those two. What about, where are you going? What the hell are you doing here? Oh, shit. Whoa, 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 chill out. We're all friends here. Friends? You were hunting us. What the hell are they doing here? They were invited. But they work for them. We all work for them. How do you think we got here? Every one of us has an employee number. We didn't have to be coerced or intimidated. We all came willingly and signed our deal with the devil. That is everyone but you two. We didn't choose to be here. Yes, you did. Yeah, cult leader lady. I would have remembered signing up for the living nightmare experience. I don't know how any of this could have been our choice. You chose to live. To leave the maze and stop being test subjects. You chose to fight. Stop me if I'm wrong, but you will do whatever it takes to survive. Everyone would. And you have. We all know about the destruction you've left behind in your wake. I've done what I had to do to survive. And you want to keep surviving? Of course. Then this is the next step. We are the next step. All of us. But... You know as well as any of us that we don't all start out as the good guys. Does that mean we can't change? Evolve into people of purpose? They're playing you. A couple of days ago... Alan, what happened a couple days ago? We were hunting her. Both of them, really. But her especially. See? And? And we were deployed to domes to find them. The whole squadron. But when... When the... When the mission failed... Well, they abandoned us there. One by one, what was left of us got taken out by those animals. Those monsters. We pleaded with them on the radio, but nothing. Radio silence. After all we'd done for them. And what, that was enough for you to join the opposition? Lady, you were the opposition. We didn't even know these guys existed. <sighs> we hadn't slept in a couple of days. Too scared to. Out of ammo and allies. It was just Alan and me. Then, like an angel, a drone spotted us. I thought you said they abandoned you. They had. The drone was one of ours. We are the light in these dark times. We spotted someone in need and swooped in to help. There are no enemies, just those yet to be enlightened. We have learned to see beyond their lies. We are those who remember the peace. We remember the peace. What peace? Apparently there was peace before the Collective interfered. When was there peace? Haven't humans been at war for thousands of years? That's what I said too. But it's not about wars. It's about a single war. An ongoing one. For more than 200 years, the Collective have waged their campaign. Campaign against who? You have to throw me a line here. I'm lost. Maybe Sarah can follow. I knew this, but I still have questions. You knew? How did you... You know, it doesn't matter. Hey, I need some clarification. Up until 30 seconds ago, the Collective were a secret organization that experimented on people. Well, they definitely do that. Exactly. So how does a 200-year-old war factory... We don't have time. 
make time. There have always been those who pursue power above all else. To have the ultimate control, fighting for who gets to be the leader of the gang or the team captain or the mayor or even the president. As is the case for the power hungry collective. They didn't strive to be community leaders. In fact, to them, leadership is a burden. Leader has to communicate with its subjects, has to represent its constituents, has to be a public figure. Leaders can be changed out, driven out, or simply replaced. It's temporary power. What the collective wanted to be was an unstoppable force. Like the changing of the seasons, they sought to be beyond the control of man, and in doing so, to also gain control of man, to direct the species toward their own end game. They wanted to take the steering wheel back. Back from who? God? You're speaking in riddles. Who else would have the power to steer a species? The fear being. Before the war with the collective, it was the fear being who guided us. Guided, steered, feels like the same thing to me. Far from it. Take water. A surefire way to control the flow of water in a river is to build a dam, to cease its movement save for when you would like to let it flow, and even then, you decide how much. But that is not the only way to control the flow. I could dig a series of trenches off to the sides of the river, and without limiting its flow, I can guide that water to a place of my choosing. The fear being never prevented us from flowing, whereas the collective built a dam. And who were these fear beings? They were great. Damn it. What? They know where we are. All right, so here's what we know. So these fear beings ran the show for a while. I'm picturing something like the Dutch West India Company. A company so big it dwarfed nations. And then the collective, unhappy with the deal the fear beings were giving us, took back control. And now this history cult is working from the shadows to take the collective down from within. What's still not clear is if there's any good guys in this story. For better or worse, these people seem like no one's Sarah's best shot at freedom. Quickly, quickly. Move along and join the others. We're on the move. No idea where or exactly why. It's because the collective found us. Is there a chance they threw a tracker on you? I guess. I didn't really think. Quickly. Quickly! Move along and join the others. I didn't check my clothes. It's too late now anyway. We'll check you out when we stop. Where are we even heading? No idea. I haven't been with these guys long enough to get the read on how connected they are. Hopefully it's a safe room. Hopefully it's an armory. I need to officially give these bastards my resignation. Sorry about him. He's taking the whole betrayal thing pretty hard. Makes sense. Don't talk to them. And you, don't talk to us. But... Until I figure out what is happening, you stay the hell away from us. Come on, Noah. I, I didn't mean to. No, no. I'm sorry I snapped. It's just... This feels wrong, right? If we don't have the ability to stand our ground against what's chasing us, shouldn't we all be splitting up? It doesn't make sense to keep us all together. Maybe that soldier was right and we're heading to an armory to gear up. Yeah, but that's what I'm afraid of. We want out. We don't need to die in their war. This isn't our fight. They saved my life. And immediately sacrificing it feels like a poor way to thank them. Now we need to live. Look, we're coming to an opening. Let's get our heads in the game. <sighs> I will say it again. This is not the time. Exactly. We don't have time. They are on our heels and you have detoured us into the pit. He called the shaft the pit. Shh. Yes, I have. Apologies for the deception, but this is not our final destination. What's going on? That's what I intend to get to the bottom of. We are careful, thorough through and through, and we have to be in order to stay alive. The Collective, for all its grandeur, has blind spots, and I am absolutely confident that we live in one. Then how did they find us? 
Exactly. We don't leave holes in our planning. So the only way for the Collective to have found us is that they were told. I have known some of you for many years, and others considerably less. Will our four new arrivals step forward? You brought us here. I don't see how we could have- Will the four new arrivals step forward? You think it was one of us? At least. Now step forward. Easy. We're moving. Don't push. Yes. Do be careful. It's a bit of a drop. One of you notified the Collective, and I'm going to find out who and how. They might have put a tracker on me. Easily could have been in my clothes. I, I, I am an idiot for not checking. Yes, but thankfully we did. Scanned each of you for anything giving off a signal, and you all came out clean. Well, then why us? Because one of you got something past our sensors, activated it, and put everything we've worked for in jeopardy. There's no way you'll believe You know we're experiments. We didn't do Silence. any- This isn't an interrogation, or even a trial. Then why do you have us lined up along the edge of this drop? Because one of you is hiding something. I'd stay put. If we have to lose four today, we lose four. We know exactly who is guilty, so this is their one moment to explain themselves. When you don't I have, have to do this. anything? You may not have done this of your own free will. I get that. The Collective has all manner of tools to make us do their bidding. I do not blame those for what they do in order to survive. I seek only to understand why. If I can't have understanding, I will settle for security. I will kill all four of you for the safety of the group. I won't- It was me. No. I, I- 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 You son of a bitch. Silence. Let him speak. We were given these, like, rings made of lead or something. They can be activated only once, and they send out a sort of pulse to let them know where you are. You told me you use yours in domes. I lied. I was scared. After he used yours and nobody came, I figured I'd save it for if we made it out, and this seemed like a chance to get back in. You're an asshole. I'm sorry. Shh. Shh, shh. There, there. Look at me. This ring pulse. Is it just the ones? Yes, like a digital flare. Then that is not so bad. It will only lead them to the boiler room. I'm sorry. As am I. <laughs> no! You said it wasn't a trial. It wasn't. It was a sentencing. You're free to join him if you disagree. Unlock the door. Let's get back on the move. Harold, guide them towards our original destination, please. Yes, Mom. And you two, hang back. I'm sorry you had to see that, but we have zero tolerance for anything that can expose us. Makes total sense. You're only effective if they can't find you. Exactly. We have been at this a while. I am not our first San Hugh, and hopefully won't be our last. We have much more at stake here than a rescue mission. Then why help us? You just said that you have bigger fish to fry than us. Why assemble the gang and save us? I, I don't know if we need to question- What do you get out of this? Clever. If it's too good to be true, it probably is. You two represent dangerous advancements in their research. Leaps forward towards their goal to make a key. We couldn't let them get you back. Wait. Did you bring us here to throw us down the shaft too? No. But the thought did cross my mind. Getting rid of you two in a place they can't retrieve your bodies from would be a clean solution. But? But not the right solution. We value the truth above all else. And I think you two are entitled to some answers. You're damn right we are. 
For starters... I don't have the answers, but I know where you can get them. Perfect. Let's go. No, she's not taking us. Are you? Very clever. She's right. This is where we part ways. We've risked too much already. But... But we're still in danger of getting recaptured. Isn't that what you're trying to prevent? Yes. But if you get out, it also helps to expose the Collective. It creates a crack where the truth can sneak out. I don't buy it. This is too much work to go through to end up leaving it to chance. What are you not telling us? I need you to do something. And the other shoe drops. In exchange, you'll get some answers and access to another shaft much like this one, but with a ladder. We've seen it. So we do what you ask, and then you tell us where to climb up? If you can make the climb. What do you need us to do? Turn off a machine. That's it? It's a big machine. What does it do? Once destroyed, it will prevent them from replicating what they've done to you. They'd have to start over. You'd buy us years of time. And in return, you get out. Destroyed? You just said turning it off. Turning it off for good. And the shaft? It's connected to the space. They use it for cooling the equipment. Deal. Wait. We don't have a better option, nor is she offering one. You'll point us in the right direction? I'll do you one better. I'll make you a map. I haven't recorded in a while and figured an update was in order. I think we're turned around again. We're in some maintenance tunnels following a crude map made by the leader of a cult who is helping us. Yeah. A lot has happened. After I got away... Can you not right now? We're lost. I swear we did better without the map. You've been following correctly since we hit the dead end. We're not lost. It's just dark and wet and we're tired. We can't stop. I know. I wouldn't want you down here anyways. Get eaten by rats. Keep moving forward? Yeah, keep moving forward. As I was saying, after I got away from... Do you think this is a trap? God, I hope not. It just feels like we want out so badly that we're willing to ignore red flags. What? Why are you making that face? Ah, oh, it's my wrist. Feels like it's on fire again. I'll look at it when we get somewhere a little more... sanitary. It shouldn't be far now. There's supposed to be a ladder up ahead to climb into the space. Ah, oh, it's really uncomfortable. Well, you did lose a hand, so... Yeah, fair point. I don't, uh... You hear that? Is, th is that music? That song... What does it mean? Why does it keep popping up? And can we also talk about their incredibly brief stint in a cult? What the hell was that about? See, I don't trust the Sand Hugh lady any more than I trust the Collective. She's hiding something. I would love to hear your thoughts on her and what's going on, so please shoot me an email to escapingdenverpod at gmail.com or join the discussion on Reddit at rescapingdenver. Thank you to Curious Cast for sticking with us on this journey, and I will be back in a couple of weeks with another episode of Escaping Denver. <laughs>